I think the plan was to go to scrap yard. If I'm not mis mistaken, it was a raider area. So it shouldn't be too tough. a key. I certainly feel this patrol coming our way isn't coming here randomly. It basically came out of nowhere the moment I entered this place. Those talent company guys. Yeah. Not raiders, so. They're not coming here. Where are they? No. You can fire through the chain link fence, so I wanted to test if you can shoot a missile through it too. So does it actually stop things that hit the or hit the fence, or is it just? A, I'm guessing all physical objects get stopped by it. Bullets don't count. So, what's the point? Just locked shed of some kind and a lot of nothing. Need to find a key. We need to find something. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything of interest. Oh, there's a neutral there. Dog and some raiders.
Yeah. Still not seeing a... What is a scavenger? Scavenger and a few rangers. Help me. Well, this is good. Yeah, I think you're the first dog I've met with in front of you. That's not true. Shut up, Mark. Two dog, get out. What's the matter, boy? Um, you know, the old master must have taken pretty good care of care of you. Guess it was the scavenger there. Yeah. Oh, good boy. Ah, very bad. Hold still. Ooh, we can use the impact on him. I'm not sure how how much that will increase his survivability. If a guy in power armor can survive a pretty standard engagement against super mutants at this point. I don't think dog meat, will dog meat will survive much longer either. Problem really is that the the level scaling. It's I wouldn't mind the level scaling if it didn't scale. If the hit point growth would be a bit different. So. It would be more based on your endurance stats instead of your level. So, a uh, hit point difference between a level 1 character and a level 30 character would not be drastically different. Difference that would be perks and uh, equipment. Maybe. That way, if we found. Because now we're creating super mutants, that but they were proved pretty weak. Uh, yeah, super mutant proof is probably something that feels like a decent opponent. Master is uh, already a very, very, very tough, and so tough a ton of, ton of, ton of, ton of, ton of uh, shots. But after that, it, it becomes ridiculous. It's like it feels like my weapons basically have been downgraded below to what I had when I started the entire game, and. It's hard to see any enemy actually being able to take that kind of punishment, even the super immune. Yeah, they're top, but they're not made out of magical fairy dust, they're just beefier humans with a tougher skin. And they do last longer than humans. Even the roots last probably longer. Masters definitely are super top, and then if you go above that it just becomes ridiculous. You have to have your super weapons that do a thousand points of damage to be able to take care of them. I need to find something for me. Let's try that. Weapon, food, chems, ammo. Let's try ammo. Only mildly injured. Wonder if he'll actually find something. I mean, go to the nearest ammunition.
That would be a good ability if we lose something. Uh, I mean, like, lose a uh, weapon or something that uh, in, in the environment. Don't. Yeah, stop searching. Hmm. Uh, I do sort of wonder why Dark Meat has more interaction options than normal human beings. I couldn't give Steam Pack to the Paladin Cross. Maybe she was at full health all the time, but I doubt that. It's the dog only thing here. Well, naturally, there's a little lock shed, but. Not exactly something we can do anything about at the moment. I think I'll be leaving. Wheaton Armory, Corvega Factory, Bethesda, uh, Armory. I can't see it containing anything I really want. It might contain in a little bit of something. That would be ammunition to the Captain Laser. But I think we'll go with the Galaxy News Radio mission for the moment. Enter the downtown area. There's three radios that might work there too, so we can track them down. down. Yeah. You're gonna get killed, boy, by the super mutants. Hopefully not. I'd, I'd hate to lose him so soon. Museum of Technology. We could... Uh, National Archives and South. Yeah, that's good enough. Hopefully we don't end up in a too bad of a situation. I'll try to keep the dog a lot as best as I can, but... It's a dog. There's going to be situations where his death is very likely. Also, heavy weapon is a bad choice for companions, I think. Very, very bad. You're, you're just asking for trouble. Not exactly a precision, high precision tool. Some new technology, yeah. Directly south. And Galaxy News Radio, but no. Nothing else. I do recall hearing the Ranger radio at some point in here, so I know it's here. But where? Well, I know where the ray. I can see the ranger side. Ranger, maybe that's the place. But uh, I don't want to assume. Why would I have to go through the trenches? Holy crap, a normal scrimmage.
you enjoy seeing those once in a while. I feel a brood is sort of a good approximation of what a normal super mutant should be. Bosses should be is a lot of a master level. If you would want to make them harder, I'd prefer to increase their fighting capabilities in other non hit point increasing ways. Master. Three missiles, a uh, single living being is. Uh, that's good enough. Excluding strong special bosses, you shouldn't see tougher opponents on a. not on a random battle like that. And where the hell is Dark Meat? Did it come even here? Uh, I want to see if we travel here, see if the... Where the hell did you disappear? Um, I'll heal him just in case. He's never gonna survive this disappearing in the in the middle, middle of our supreme and infested area. It's just a matter of time. There. Uh, I think I see normal supermutants and brutes, so it's not too bad of a co combination of enemies. Yeah, I think those are a bit too weak, normal ones. Goddamn master. I do appreciate the fact that not everything level scales. So at least there's some feeling that oh, the your power power is growing as you level up. That you're leaving some enemies behind. But again, I think the main problem is that you get too many hit points. How much, much do we have? We have 470 at this point, and I haven't made any special attempt to gain more of them. So, the reason 
why can I why can I I can laugh all of some of these enemies is that ridiculously high hit point pool. Get rid of that and suddenly those normal super mutants that I can kill off fairly easily will still be a serious threat. Because although I can kill them quite easily, uh, they can return the favor. Uh, I'd like that approach much better simply because when we encounter those he Tougher super mutants now. They're not any more dangerous as far as weaponry is concerned. That's that's not what they are. They're just sucking up a lot of more ammunition. But instead of a short brutal fight, it's a uh, you have to pump a full clip of heavy weaponry in, 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 in order to a, achieve any kind of serious damage to them. Uh, I need a better place to go down, otherwise the dog we might get trapped here alone and try to go around the heavy super uh, the high, the heavy super defense area. I think we should be relatively safe now, there's only one opponent here. Goodbye. Yeah, you didn't load up this texture, did you? It should look like this. Um, We could visit the major monuments too at some point. Probably should visit them. Let's just see how they look. Nothing else. And I do need some kind of other weapon. Some kind of precision weapon. I have basically nothing. Absolutely nothing. Gatling laser is our base, but we have two clips to it. I can't, I simply can't rely on that. Shit. We'll have to try to loot. Loot a guy. A superman, even a hunting rifle. Let's go out for a moment. 